Glaciers are bodies of dense ice that are constantly moving under their own weight. They slice through landscapes, creating crevasses and other unique geological features. Due to rising temperatures, many of the world's glaciers are melting and breaking apart. Some lucky people have managed to capture many of these moments on film, and the result is truly spectacular. From a glacier creating a mini tsunami to a towering chunk of ice crashing into the water below, here are five massive glacier calvings that were caught on camera. Between the countries of Chile and Argentina lies the Viedma Glacier. This massive glacier is part of what's known as the Southern Patagonian Ice Field, the second largest ice field in the world. Viedma Glacier leads right into Lake Viedma, which is actually fed mostly by the melting of the glacier. Back in 2016, a group of people were visiting the area when they caught something spectacular on film. Video footage shows part of the Viedma Glacier collapsing in dramatic fashion, sending bright blue shards of ice crashing into the water below. It's hard to put into words how large some of these chunks of ice are, but seeing them shoot out of the water and roll over gives you a pretty good idea. Because this glacier is in two different countries, it gets to be part of two different national parks, with Chile and Argentina each having their own name. The entire southern Patagonia measures roughly 5,000 square miles, or 8,000 square kilometers, and the Viedma Glacier is just one of many that can be found here. Perhaps the most interesting part of all this is that this is likely the first time that ice has seen the light of day in thousands of years. The country of Iceland is home to many amazing sights, from towering mountains to stunning waterfalls. The country is also home to many glaciers, 269 to be exact, and every one of them I have a little bit of trouble pronouncing, so I apologize once again for this. One glacier in particular is named Breda Mercuriokul, and it is a major attraction for tourists who want to witness the ice collapse for themselves. Back in March of 2019, a group of travelers was visiting the glacier. They were standing on a nearby lagoon when they began to film the glacier break apart in the distance. With little warning, a massive wall of ice came crashing down, sending the tourists scrambling from a wave that was now headed right for them.
In total, it took about 15 seconds from when the ice collapsed to when the water came crashing into the shore. Thankfully, these people had the right idea to run away as soon as the glacier broke apart. So, what happens to this ice now? It will slowly drift through the lagoon and eventually make it out into the open ocean. But the pieces of ice that break off are so heavy that this process takes years. 10% of Iceland is covered by glaciers. These glaciers contain so much ice that if it were spread out evenly, the entire country would be underneath a little over 100 feet of it. If all this ice melted, it would raise the entire global sea level by one centimeter. These glaciers are, as you'd imagine, very susceptible to climate changes and have a major impact on their environment. Some of them are also on top of active volcanoes. The Ilulisat Ice Fjord is a fjord in western Greenland that's about 150 miles north of the Arctic Circle. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2004 due to its incredible natural beauty. It's also important in terms of scientific understanding of climate change. Back in 2012, a tourist from Australia was visiting the country when she got a bit more than she bargained for. She asked for two men to take her on their boat to see the glacier. The man filming the video said that he was there as a translator, and even though he is from the country, he is from another town where glaciers are fairy tales. So he was just as much of a tourist as this woman. As they're viewing the glacier, a chunk suddenly collapses into the ocean. The only problem is that they were a bit closer than they should have been and were soon met with the full force of the ocean crashing into them. Hey! Wow! I... This is the wildest thing I've ever tried in my life. After viewing the video, it's safe to say the people were a bit closer than they maybe should have been. Luckily, the wall of water was not enough to seriously damage or capsize the boat. The Ilulisat Ice Fjord also contains the Jakobshavn Glacier, or in Greenlandic, and again I apologize for my pronunciation, Sermek Kujalek. It is the most productive glacier in the entire northern hemisphere. Productive may seem like an odd word to apply to a glacier, since all they do is sit around all day, but glaciers do more than you might think. The Jakobshavn Glacier moves anywhere from 60 to 100 feet per day. That's probably more than some especially lazy people. This results in 20 billion tons of ice falling off into the ocean every year. Some of the chunks that break off the glacier are over 3,000 feet tall. For reference, the Empire State Building is only about 1,500 feet tall. Despite the close call, everybody in this video escaped unharmed. When you think of glaciers, there's probably one state that comes to mind. Alaska. 
This state is home to 616 that are officially named, with many more believed to exist that have not been formally identified. In fact, it is estimated that Alaska is home to over 100,000 glaciers, more than just about anywhere else in the world. Back in 2019, a man named Wesley Young was giving a helicopter tour when he captured the Columbia Glacier collapsing in Prince William Sound. He said that being a helicopter tour pilot has allowed him to see many calvings in his day, but he has never seen one that was this massive. There's something about the scale of these events that is so hard to comprehend. With little warning, a towering wall of ice shoots out of the water hundreds of feet into the sky. These calvings are often caused by the glacier's slow forward movement, which leads to destabilization at the edges. The Columbia Glacier has retreated about 12 miles in the past 40 years, which by glacier standards is pretty significant. The Columbia Ice Field, of which this glacier is just a small part, is the largest ice field in the Rocky Mountains. It's located within Canada and Alaska, right on the Continental Divide. It is partly in Banff National Park and partly in Jasper National Park. It takes up about 125 square miles and is over a thousand feet deep in many parts. As time goes on, I'm sure we will see many calvings that are even bigger than this one. Antarctica is another place that you'd likely think of when talking about glaciers. 98% of the continent is covered by ice that is, on average, 6,200 feet thick. If you happen to visit, odds are you will never see the ground. Antarctica is the coldest and windiest continent, which you probably could guess. But you may not know that it is also the driest in terms of precipitation. It rarely snows, and the continent gets just 8 inches of rain per year along the coasts, with inland getting much less. The next video, which was shot in 2017, shows what happens when a massive chunk of ice collapses into the water below. Due to the sudden weight change, the rest of the iceberg pushes up out of the water, nearly rolling over. Sit down, sit down. Thankfully, the people in this video were far enough away to be unaffected by the massive wave that followed, as we saw in other videos. However, someone on the boat still does tell people to take a seat. After all, Antarctica is the last place you'd want to accidentally fall into the water. Despite being the driest continent, 80% of the world's freshwater reserves are located in Antarctica. If all the ice in Antarctica were to melt, global sea levels would be raised by 200 feet. The coldest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was negative 128 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The average temperature during the coldest part of the year, however, is just negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit. That is pretty toasty by comparison. Our world's glaciers are losing an estimated 267 gigatons of ice each and every year. They're also melting at an ever-increasing rate, up about 31% over the last 15 years. As time ticks on, more and more massive calvings will occur, and hopefully somebody will be there to capture the moment on film. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.